I've seen people break this down. I'm going to break it down right now. Let's get it. Luke chapter 21 verses 24. In the normal King James it says, And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations, and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. My big book says the disaster and the age of the pagans. For the great misery shall descend on the land and wrath on the people. They will fall by the edge of the sword and be led captive to every pagan country. And Jerusalem will be trampled down by the pagans until the age of the pagans is completely over. Now did you know that the 12 tribes of Israel split in two? Did you all know that? Jerusalem, which was Judah, Benjamin and Levi, and even Levi left this after too. So ten tribes were scattered on the face of the planet. And two tribes went into captivity on slave boats, slave ships, Deuteronomy 28 verses 68. Now I'm going to show you that the ten tribes became pagans, and the other two tribes, which is Judah, also became pagans. But specifically it was talking about the ten tribes being pagans and Paul bringing them back into the fold. So this is Ephesians chapter 3 verses 6. It means that the pagans now share the same inheritance. D. Look what D says. D. I.E. as the Judeo-Christians. You see it wasn't called Christians. But then he was called the Messiah. Christians came from white people. He was called the Messiah. And you following the Messiah you would be called a Messianic. And if he didn't know, the Jews, yeah, were actually calling their brothers, their sisters, pagans because they was living in other nations, speaking like other nations, dressing like the other nations, so we call them pagans. Because I'm from Benjamin, so I would be classed as a Jew too. As well as the black Americans, which is Judah. So together we're the Jews, you know. And our other brothers and sisters in the diaspora across the face of the planet are the Israel or the Gentiles or the pagans because they followed the other nations before we did and then we came into captivity and became Gentiles too following them now too because I speak a Gentile language I'm wearing Gentile material like what Deuteronomy 28 verses 48 says we're gonna go to them for food clothing and water once of all things so now we're gonna get Ephesians 2 and 19 fast and quick so this is Ephesians chapter 2 and 19 it says so you are and then it says are right next to it so it says, Paul inserts verses 14 to 18 how the Messiah, Hamashiach, Yahweh has united pagans, which are the ten tribes, and the Jews, which are the next two tribes, twelve tribes of Israel, between his contrasting description of pagans before verses 11 and 13, and after 19 to 22 conversion. Now look at these precepts over here. Do you see Revelation 21 verses 14 over there? Right here, you know. Revelation chapter 21, new heaven, new earth, right? Let's carry on down. 21 and 12 says it has a wall great and high and 12 gates with 12 names on it for the 12 tribes of Israel. And 14 tells us that the 12 names of the apostles are going to be on the, the foundations. Look out for part 2.